Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0IQJ. So this radio here is the Zygu X6100. It's a QRP and 10 watts HF and 6 transceiver. Now I featured this in last week's video. I turned into a walkie-talkie, went out and about, and I made a contact into Russia. He said I was on a 5.9. I was on a 5.9. It's just that he was in a contest. If he's telling me he was on a 5.3, then uh, he's got to go down the other end of the keyboard, the operator has. Anyhow, I take this away every single day. And I've made copies into Serbia, I've had Slovenia, I've had into Russia, Moscow, and so I'm just using the 5 watts and using it as a walkie talkie. It's been great fun when I'm on my dinner break. Now, I've updated the firmware on this to version 1.17. I'll show you that. If we go to system settings, use the MFK key, the multifunction key, and we go to sysinfo. You can see there it says app 1.17, July 26th, 2023. And base is 1.16. Now, what does the new firmware do? Well, it's added something on here called WF server, which allows us, which allows us to control the radio remotely. You can either do it by the internet, or you can control this via your computer. So you can have it set in a, another room, or your computer can be downstairs. You can have your radio upstairs. You can control it through the computer using WF server or WF viewer on your computer. So, first of all, you need to either connect your radio via the cable of our wireless LAN and we're going to get this up by the LAN so we're going to go to wireless LAN and we we'll turn it on we're going to let it connect to the router there we go it's connected up to my router now if you haven't seen how to do this set up the wireless LAN it can be a bit of a pain in the backside once you've got it connected you have to disconnect and you have to put your manual IP addresses in and so on now I've done a video on that on how to upgrade or wide band this radio using FTP and I'll show you how to set the Wi-Fi up on that. I've also done a video on how to update the firmware. So if you get a black screen of death, how to update that. Uh, I'll link them in the description below. You can go and watch them. It tells you how to update the firmware for this radio or reflash it. It also tells you how to do the Wi-Fi. Now we need to press on exit. If we go down to WF server and we're gonna press MFK key. You'll see here on the screen we've got rig name, username, password, control port, CIV port, and so on. All we need to do now is press on start. It's going to say please wait. Okay, now that it has started, it tells you you can go to wfu.org, find the source code, and so on. It tells you who, who made it there Elliot, W6EL, Phil, M0VFE, and so on. Now, all you need to do now is put this information to the WFU program on a computer and we, we, sh we should be good to go to control this radio via the computer. So let's head over on the computer and uh, we'll look at the software. Okay, so we're on the computer and the website you want to go to is WFU.org, which allows you to control. It says, welcome to WFU.org. Hello and thank you for coming here to learn about WFU. Is a, WFU is a program developed by amateur radio enthusiasts to control modern icon radios it's free and open source. We're going to click on Downloads. And you can see that it's over for Linux, Mac, and uh, yeah, the other two platforms there. Now, I had to build mine from source on Linux, which is quite simple. Just follow them th uh, instructions there. If you get stuck, there is some videos and so on on the website here. It tells you how to do so. I think the video is about three minutes long. I used that. I was able to uh, get it quickly installed on the computer. I think Mac OS needs, uh, it doesn't work on 10.15, I think it needs a higher version. There might be older versions of the program that allows you to run it on 10.15 and, and below. I'll have a play around with that at some point. Once you've uh, got the program installed and run it, you'll get this screen here. If I click on settings, and we're going to do radio access, and you've got serial USB or network, we're going to do it via the network, and you've got host name, control port, username, and so on, password. And that was all the information that came up on the screen earlier. So 192.168.1.21. Control port is 5001. Username is user and password is 123. Leave everything else as standard. And we're just going to click on connect to radio. There you go. There's our waterfall display. Let's change that to cold. There's our waterfall display. Now there is sound coming out. But it's coming through my earphones. I uh, don't have any speakers connected to the computer. And I've got the radio in the front room next door to the Wi-Fi router. If you find it goes laggy, try and move it closer to the Wi-Fi. If 
you can't move closer to the Wi-Fi, you can use a, a USB serial cable, so I'm going to play around with some point, and you can also use a USB Ethernet adapter, which I want to play around with at some point as well. I think only about 12 quid off Amazon, it'd be worth getting one of them just to muck about with, see if you can get it connected. Now here we've got our frequency, and you can use the jog wheel here to go up and down. You can also use a scroll wheel on the mouse to go up and down. Here you've got your frequency steps, so 1 kilohertz, 2.5, 5 and so on. Here is your mode, so we can change that to FM. And you can power on off the radio here, you can enable your ATU, you can transmit on the radio through the um, through your radio, so you can leave it by your side, transmit and then start talking. If you've got active frequencies coming through, you'll see it appear on the waterfall display. And you should just double click and it should go straight to that frequency. If I click on band, I can then click on different bands, so um, 630 meters, click on that one. Won't go because the radio won't do it. If I press on band, I can do 80 meters. I can go band, 60 meters. If we go back up to 10 meters. If I don't want to click there, uh, type in, uh, click on band, I click on frequency, and I can type in a frequency, so 29, 610. And we're gonna press on go. There we go, and then we want FM mode. Now I give my radio a key up, and we see it come through the waterfall display. This is 2E0 IQJ. This is 2E0 IQJ. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There we go. In the front room where the radio is connected, I've only got that little telescopic grip connected, so the audio wasn't the best coming through. You can change the span there. Let's try. So I'm just put up to 500k. Audio check one two three four. Audio check one two three four. Two three four five. One two three four five. One two three four five. Audio check one two three four five. Two e zero. IQJ check in. At some point, I will connect it to a bigger aerial, one that's outside of my live meter antenna. I've listed on ten. I do want to connect this by serial cable because it'd be a lot better than going through the Wi-Fi. If I can't get it working through serial cable, I will get one of them USB Ethernet adapters and connect it via that. And so I can have it in the front room here, uh, back room here with me, whilst I'm playing around with the radio. And as you're clicking stuff, it's changing. If I go to settings, you can do a radio server and set people up to use it. Grant them access for the radio, I presume that's what it is. And you've got an external control, which you can control this remotely. So you can have your radio sitting at home, connect it to your Wi Fi, and you can then control it whilst you're out and about. It'd be good to try that. Plug it into a dummy load and then see if I can receive the radio or the audio from the radio on my mobile phone. Then just get my phone from the Wi Fi and use it on the 4G and see if I can get connected to the radio. It's something that I'll be playing around with at some, at some point. So that was a quick look at the WFU program which controls Icon radios which is also free and open source which is good and we use it to control the Zygu 6100 radio. Over the next couple of weeks I do want to connect it with a USB cable uh, to the computer that will, I think that would be better than going through the Wi-Fi and if it can't get the cable to work then I will try to connect it via USB um, Ethernet interface connected to the side of the radio. I do want to have a good play around this program, seems it can do, do a lot. And the good thing about it is it's free and it's open source. I do want to control my ICOM 7 a that'd be quite interesting to so get, get to work on it. So I will be playing around with this over the next few weeks. Anyhow, if you found the video of some music not to do, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, that one seems to work too. But that was a quick look at WFU. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video. This is 2E0 IQJ. 7 3 for now.